Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and in today's video we're going to make a necklace to go with these earrings that I made with some of Jesse James beads I received. We're going to be using the Butterfly Mix Never Give Up which is available now at Jesse James Beads. So I'm just going to take these earrings I'm going to set them aside here for reference. And I, I have still a few of the beads left over in Never Give Up. I have used quite a few of these. So look for some videos <laughs> that I'll be posting here in the next little while. And I'm actually going to be probably posting more than one video a day because I just have so many ideas with you know Christmas and all the different holidays coming up and stuff so anyway let's make this necklace the first thing I want to do is I want to get this jump ring or split ring whatever you want to call it I want to get it onto this charm that I got from this um, this bead it's not really a kit, it's just a bunch of beads, just different beads. Oh, ah, can't really see. It's shiny, but it says never give up. All right, we've got that all ready to go. Now we need to lay out our beads. I'm using these saucer beads. Aren't they fun? They look like little spaceships. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put those on either side. And let's see, what should I do next? I think I'll put these on each side. And we have Ultimate, which is a, the bright yellow, and Gray. No, Ultimate Gray is the Gray. Illuminating is the yellow, which makes sense. <laughs> so we'll put the gray on each side here, and then some more yellow, and then maybe we need some silver going on. And then I think I'm going to kind of duplicate these earrings here. So we've got the yellow bead, the crystal, and the black bead on each side. And we'll repeat that. The yellow, the little crystal, and then the black bead. And I'm going to end with the yellow bead and then a seed bead on each side. That looks good. Now we got to string it up. So I already had a piece of wire cut, so I went ahead and put the bead tip on there and one of the little seed beads. And now I just need to put all my beads on there. One thing you need to be careful of when you do this, we have these teardrops. And I actually want the teardrops to face in. Now you may want them to face out, but I'm trying to replicate this earring here. So I need to make sure I put it on correctly. So this, this particular side, since I'm coming in, I want the skinny in. I'm going to feed the fat in first. Okay. Whoops. And then that way you have the same as the earring. Now I am on the other side feeding these black beads on, so I want to, to feed the skinny side 
in. So they're facing in the right direction there. So I've got it all done here, this part anyway. I just want to eyeball it and make sure I've got everybody fought, you know, in the right direction. All the beads even. Looks good. And I've got to add, I thought I added a little seed bead. It must have fallen off. I need to add another little seed bead. And then the bead tip. Whip out my trusty tool here. Feed that knot down into that opening. Make sure it's not too tight, that you do have some movement. It's not really, really stiff, but yet. It's not where you see your beading wire. That really bugs me. I'd almost rather it be too tight than to see the beading wire. <laughs> but too tight's not good either. Now for the chain. I got my lobster claw, which works, and I need a jump ring. Actually, I need two jump rings. And I want to make sure that this is going to fit. Which it does, so that's good. Need to open this guy. And we have about just under an inch. So I'm going to use this little dainty chain here. And I want about an 18 inch necklace, which is standard. So it's 12. Keep in mind we have that one inch up there, so 15. I'm going to go a little bit further because I'm going to have to cut a link off. I love yellow. I think that people either love it or hate it. Are you a yellow lover or do you just not like it? To me, it's just a very happy color. That's why I love it so much. I think that's all closed in there. We'll get the other side here. By the way, I've got other videos coming out. I've got one that I'm working on right now with whole bunch of really fun earrings. Haven't filmed it yet, but I've got everything ready to film. And I'm excited about this one. I think there's going to be four earrings. I've already done one with four earrings, but this is another four. All right, now i got to find the center. I've been working on um, ideas for next year. So if y'all have any ideas that you would like to see, let me know. And I'll see what I can do about that. I do have a collaboration challenge coming up for the whole year, starting January 13th. And I'll, I'll leave a link for you to go check that out. But it is a... Uh, be creative and I'm going to give you different words to work around during the year 
January, we're doing goals. In February, we're doing, you could have a choice of two, either Mardi Gras or love. <laughs> but go check that out. Let me know if you want to be a part of it. Okay, let's open this guy up, and then we're going to have a finished necklace. One thing I've been having problems with is my eyes, and I just, I'm just learning to deal with it. I guess it's just part of the aging process. And I, my cat, I don't have bad cataracts. I think it's just my aging. It's very frustrating, especially when I like to do this tiny, fine stuff. <laughs> but there we go. Here is our necklace and earring set. Oh, this looks very elegant. And I like the message, never, never give up. Not just never give up, but never, never give up. But like I said, if you're interested in making some fun stuff with this butterfly mix from Jesse James Beads, just go down in the description box below and um, click on the link and there you'll have it. Isn't it pretty though? I love the sparkle of this. And I would consider this more of a dainty piece. It's not a big chunk. And I think it would be great for everyday wear. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.